My name's Stalin Bear, and uh, I met Doug uh, Leach seven years ago. He was in the process of doing some work, starting a uh, halfway house or a recovery house. When I think of Doug, I think of three basic things. I think of desire, I think of passion, and I think of his action. Doug, I'm really uh, proud of you and pleased to uh, present you with the 2020 Entrepreneur Award and Recognition of the Year. I'm Tom Jones. I'm the retired Chief Executive Officer of the West Virginia University Health System, and I've known Doug and his family for many years. I think Doug could have been successful in any field that he chose to go into, but I think he's a very caring person and he chose to use his skills to help people combat the disease of addiction. And I think because of that, he has affected many, many lives and he's even saved lives. He recognized addiction was a disease much earlier than, than people across this country did because of the opioid thing. He knew it affected people from all walks of life, from all demographics, from all economic stratus. And he said, we need programs to treat those people. They're worth saving. And he's done it magnificently. And he's done it with class and he's done it as a business, but he has helped people and ultimately that's what he wanted to do. And that's why I'm so proud of him. I think this is just such an outstanding award for him. I can remember being in Morgantown when people didn't understand recovery. People would attack his ideas and he never, he never stepped back. Doug was brave enough to stand up. He understood the vision and he kept leading it forward. And today, you know, having this award is most definitely deserved. Doug's team, they're wise, they're humble and generous. Like I said, I've worked at WVU over 40 years as a psychologist and I've never worked with a, a better group of people who are willing to do whatever to help somebody get their life together. Just to disclose, you know, I'm a person in long-term recovery and whenever I was introduced to Doug, I was actually living in Texas at the time and I was in a sober living home. My mom had called me up and she said, hey, you know, there's a guy that's opening sober living homes in Morgantown and I think it would be really great if you would get involved and, you know, reach out to him and see if there's anything you can do to help. And I was like, you know, absolutely, that sounds amazing. Although we do stuff on a national scale, we have impacted Morgantown in such a great way. The, the Center for Hope and Healing, we had the opportunity to consult with some pretty big time leaders there and come up with you know, a plan on how we can get an inpatient rehab in Morgantown, West Virginia. You know, that was something we never had. And so now that it's here and it's opening and it's helping people, it's absolutely amazing. He's more than just a boss, you know, he's a friend, he's a mentor. And he's really just a true leader here at Ascension and in the behavioral health care industry in general. Hi everyone, this message comes to you from freezing cold Boston, Massachusetts. I'm so honored to receive the Milan Pushkar Entrepreneur of the Year Award. It means so very much to me. If someone would have told me on April 1st, 2011 that I was going to get an award for recognition for anything good, um, I would have said you were crazy. Um, that was the day I got sober, and this is just another miracle of recovery. Um, this award is um, not so much about me or, or my accomplishments, but more of what we can accomplish together. My, my team at Ascension Recovery Services in West Virginia Sober Living is much more like a family um, than uh, co-workers, um, and this award is really a testament to all the great work that we do together. Um, you, you all uh, impress me each and every day, and we, we definitely have the most caring, compassionate, hardworking, smart team in behavioral health uh, that I've ever seen. Um, I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much uh, for all that you do to help expand access to care around the country. Uh, thanks to the Morgantown Area Partnership for this recognition. Uh, it's truly an honor to receive it. Thank you very much.